Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros and we are back again with an $800 full gaming setup. This setup features the $500 2021 gaming PC that we built here on the channel very recently and also features a 144 hertz monitor. You don't wanna miss this one. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ShopTagger. ShopTagger makes sure you never miss a price drop or coupon code and is a must have, especially with all the post holiday sales happening now online. I have found ShopTagger to be very useful when trying to get some great deals on PC hardware bundles on AliExpress, which is our go to place for our PC selling business and YouTube channel. ShopTagger is super easy to set up. All you have to do is install the browser extension, head to a supported website, and click on the product you're looking looking to buy. Then the shop tagger extension will pop up in the top right corner and allow you to add it to alerts and categorize it. I created a list just for PC hardware, especially bundles that we buy regularly off AliExpress. So I'm able to get alerts whenever there's a price drop. So I know to go in and pick them up and save a ton of cash. You can also scan the web for coupon codes to automatically save you some money on the next purchase you make and even get some cash back with their new cash back service, making this free extension even more valuable. So if you're like me and you love to save money, please check the link in the description down below and download ShopTagger to your phone and computer today to save the most money possible. So as usual, this is one of our full gaming setups, which means you get the keyboard, mouse, headset, monitor, and the full computer, which we have a whole separate video on, which will be in the links in the description down below and probably in the top corner somewhere in this video. But the links in the description will be affiliate links. So if you wanna pick out any of these things, we'll have alternatives if they're out of stock, they're affiliate links and they do help us out. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is recap this PC real quickly so you know the specs and then go over each peripheral and then dive into some gaming and see how this setup performs. So let's get right into it, shall we? All right, so to start off, we're just gonna talk about this computer real quick. So this is a $500 computer, give or take, depending on the time of the year and if parts are in stock, but we have the Intel i3-10100, which is a four core, eight thread, pretty on par with like the Ryzen 3100 slash 3300X. We have an MSI B460M motherboard. We have 16 gigs of Delta RGB team group RAM. We have an RX 570, which sadly we had to buy new, but we really recommend buying them off of eBay used. We have a 500 gig NVMe SSD. We have the Corsair VS 500 watt power supply, which is an awesome power supply. It's 80 plus certified. We have the Mustex MK7 case, which comes with five RGB fans pre-installed, pre-wired. Like literally all you have to do is press the button. They already come hooked up to the hub. You just have to mount it where you want it. We also did a full build guide in this case with these components. So if you check out the on the top right corner, which we told you about earlier, we literally did a full build guide with a POV shot and everything. So you guys are gonna build this computer perfectly for this setup. Now, no setup is complete without a monitor. This is the Nixius, let me look at the box real quick, NX EDG 24S gaming monitor. I'm sorry, the name is really long. I had to do it. This is a 1080p 144Hz gaming monitor. And now, of course, you can get a lot of different monitors from the likes of Pixio and Viotech that would offer similar value at a similar price. But at the time of planning this video, it was gonna take forever for them to actually show up. So we have this Nixius monitor, which is actually a reputable name brand somewhere on the lines of like a uh, Pixio or Viotech. So I mean, I'm excited to actually test it out, but on first impressions, it looks pretty good. Now for the keyboard, we have this keyboard from Habit. This is their custom keyboard that has blue switches and pudding keycaps for those who really like RGB. It looks really nice. We actually reviewed this keyboard in our top five roundup, which is actually gonna be releasing later. So you're actually getting a teaser here before that roundup actually comes out. So there you go. But we'll be talking more about that in that video. So hit the on the top right corner, but this does come with blue switches. Not my favorite switch of choice, but for this setup and the fact that I really wanna have a ton of RGB on this setup, this one works really good. And as for the the mouse, we have the Razer Viper Mini, which was one of our favorite mice in the top five mice under $50 roundup, which basically everything I've talked about here has been in a roundup video or another video on the channel. So be sure to hit that on the top right corner. It's gonna be loaded or yell at me in the comment section down below if I don't put anything there because it's very likely that I won't. But the Viper Mini is a very light mouse while not having like cheese grater design to it. Looks really nice and is one of the favorites around here in the office. And for the mouse mat, this is the Utex Smart RGB mouse mat. Of course, you can just get like a very basic mouse mat on Amazon that has no RGB or anything. But again, with this setup, we want to go crazy with the RGB. You could change the color mode by hitting this little button right here. I'm not going to do it because there's a ton of different RGB modes to go through, but maybe in the B-roll, I'll show you. Um, yeah, really nothing special about it. It's pretty affordable. And if you want RGB, you got this. 
Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the headset. This is the Corsair HS35. This is kind of like the alternative to the HS60. It's a bit cheaper than the HS60, so it does compromise on some features, but it is still really well built for the money. I'm very excited to hear how it sounds because we really like how the HS60 sounds. Jackson has been using it at his home setup when he live streams. So um, yeah, it's a pretty high quality headset. We really like Corsair's peripherals. So we're excited to see how this thing performs. Um, I think we have absolutely everything. So yeah, let's just play some games, shall Who we? thinks we have everything? I think. You're probably missing something. Let us know in the comments section down below. Let's game. All right, so we got to test out a fan favorite. This is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And we are on the recommended setting. So 1920, 120 field of view because, well, Quake Pro. You know, you got to be all the way up. Got to have the unlimited frame rate. We're on medium, you know, medium low settings pretty much. Um, this is just a 570. So you got to remember it's a little bit of a lower end card, which sadly right now you're going to be paying um, the same price as a mid range card in one of these. But, you know, hey, hopefully by the time this video comes out, Christmas has been nice to you guys and stuff's back in stock and normal price. And yeah, you know, I, I do a comment. If you have like somewhat, I feel like if you have bigger hands, this Viper Mini would kind of suck. But if you have kind of smaller hands and you like um, the MM710 or the Model O, I feel like this is a really good compromise to those because I, if I remember correctly, uh, this mouse weighs about the exact same um, as those, but it's a little bit smaller. Oh, what? what? That should have been a kill. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh! oh. Oh, shoot. Oh. Uh. He's a real gamer, guys. Yeah, yeah the FPS isn't going to hit up exactly 144, but I can definitely tell it's a lot smoother than just playing on normal 60 hertz monitor. So you do get that benefit. Yeah, overall, though, um, you know, it's a really nice setup. For 500 bucks, this this is honestly, I hate to say it, but the best you can do is the time of making this video. Like, it's hard to even do a budget computer. I'm surprised we we're able to pull this off. But um, hey, you know, you go with something used like a 570 and uh, you can do something like this. Oh, yes, boo. money. You see that lag here? All right, now I, I got to play till I die. You ready for this, dude? I'm going to die right here. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All right, let's play everyone's favorite game. Is it Fortnite? Of course it's Fortnite. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to play everyone's favorite game, Fortnite. We're actually running on the performance mode, uh, game mode. Uh, or the rendering mode. Uh, it's not DX12. I don't know what exactly it is, but it does lower like everything. So it's kind of like pro settings, but might be better. So we're going to just give this a shot real quick and see what it looks like. If it looks like total crap, then eh. But I'm assuming it's designed to look decent and actually give you better performance. So we'll see when we dive in what kind of results we'll get. But I'm expecting some good numbers. Even on the DX12, we were getting well over 144 FPS. So as long as we're doing good there, I mean, I'm happy. Ready. The ramen's ready. <clears throat> Today we're dropping out of the bus right now. We're over 150 FPS, which isn't much different from when we tested the PC. Uh, but we'll see when we land if we're getting over 200. If we're over 200, there's definitely a significant difference. But I remember it hovered around the 100-ish FPS uh, when we were uh, just playing on the normal mode. So performance mode might be cool. I don't know. I mean, you might as well turn it on and just get extra performance as long as it's not buggy. That's the main thing that might be concerning. I think the bot's trying to shoot you through the house right now or something. Oh, uh, I'm trying. Are these bots too? No, that's not a bot. It's a guy I'm trying to, Master Chief. Oh dude, he has armor. It's, it's Master Chief, bro. Did go inside? I think so. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Master Chief. I didn't mean to do you dirty like that. This performance mode's pretty baller, guys. I like it. And the frame rate skyrocketed oh, yeah, for at, a second. I was just like, hello? Look at it. You're at you're over 200. My gosh. All right, so performance mode, apparently for the win. We're getting almost 300 FPS at times with an RX 570. I love it. <laughs> oh, dude, he was waiting for you. Wow. Well, that's Fortnite, ladies and gentlemen. I think I did pretty decent killing some weird players. But uh, yeah, Fortnite, really playable. Like the performance mode. Let's try another game real quick. All right, guys, we have Doom Eternal, and I didn't even pay attention. Matt, what settings are we on? High settings. High settings, because we only have so much VRAM with this 570. Um, and you know what? We're continuing the saga. If you guys didn't know, we've been using the campaign for multiple benchmarks, and um, yeah, we're, I, we might actually beat the game eventually. I think Matt left. Uh... Well, I'm referring to myself in the third person. Left you off in a weird stuck spot, probably. Oh, no, here we go. You can do that. The performance is pretty good. I mean, it's Doom Eternal. It runs really well on AMD hardware. <laughs> this man just does not work. How do you get in there? I don't know. Is it destroy it? 
<laughs> is that my thing? <laughs> yeah, it's right. funny. But hey, Doom Eternal runs really well in this setup. Uh, yeah, we'll probably just test one more game real quick. All right, guys, the last game we're going to be playing is good old Valorant. Um, we're going to dive into a deathmatch to show you, once again, how well this setup works for games like FPSs and pretty much any game you want to throw at it. Um, and yeah, see what kind of performance we can get. I expect good numbers, very good numbers. Okay, guys, we are in good old Valorant on high settings at 1080p, and we're getting, well, pretty good results. If I could actually kill somebody, I can't hear anything, so I don't even know if you guys can hear anything. It's, like, really quiet. But yeah, this setup is perfectly good for esports titles to get you up and running into the PC gaming universe. Do you want to be a part of the master race? Buy this today using the links in the description down below. They are affiliate links and they do help us pay for our video editor McAllister. Or go to pcbros.tech to help pay for our video editor McAllister. Oh, oh no, where did he come from? Oh my goodness. But yeah, performance is really good in Valorant as to be expected. Pretty much anything can run Valorant. I just traced him. Okay, there we go. How about we go ahead uh, and wrap this video up real quick. <laughs> wow, I was hoping they were gonna kill me, but they didn't. Wow, blame that guy for having a horrible transition here at the end of this video. Kill me, thank you. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so overall, 800 bucks. This is a really awesome bang for the buck. And hey, if you can actually get your hands on all this, which we tried to make it to where you could, then we really recommend going with all this. Hopefully this setup stays in stock for most of 2021, but of course, throughout the rest of the year, we'll be doing a bunch of different setups at different price points. So if this one isn't in your price range, stay tuned. But let us know down below if there's a certain price range for a full setup you're looking at or gaming PC. Always looking to take ideas from the viewers to make some awesome content for you guys. But uh, once again, links in the description down below for all these parts. They are affiliate links and they do help us out. So if you haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. The airflow is beautiful in this case. Cloudy. So we felt that this video today was good enough. Just like this shirt, which you can buy. Links in the description down below. Pretty awesome merch store. Merch. 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 We have merch. Merch. Buy it. Teespring. Merch. Buy. Goodbye.